Hello again. Making dinner. Gonna make jalapeno night. No, jalapeno and cheese stuffed pork chops. That's right. But roasted jalapeno, which are in the bag. Got cousin with a garden. He was like, oh, I got a ton of jalapeno. I'm like, alright. So we got some potently fresh jalapeno. Gonna rinse off real quick. I'm pretty sure this is straight out of the garden. Garbage time. That looks good. Gonna need that. I like to wear gloves. Don't feel like accidentally touching my eye and really regretting it. So I'm basically roasting them like a normal roasted pepper. If I had a barbecue, I'd do it on that, but I'm gonna just do it in the oven. You could do it on your stove top and just literally open flame it, but could make a mess and start a fire. Well, not really start a fire, but definitely make a mess. So I'm gonna go up to the less mess method. So I'm gonna just give you the rinse, pat them dry. Yes. Excellent smithers. Beautiful. I'm gonna do that. Grab the oil me right there. Give it a touch of oil. I'm toss them. Coat well. So we're gonna basically just roast these till they're roasted, soft, and then put them in, we'll wrap them in the foil or put them in a, shop, in a little Ziploc bag to steam so the skin becomes loose, then we'll peel the skin and we'll literally have roasted jalapeno meat, which I will stuff inside the pork chops with some cheese and bake that. I'm also gonna probably, I have eggplant also, we're gonna probably just roast up the pans here, I don't know yet, but I'm not up to that yet. Right now I gotta get these roasted and cooled so I can stuff them. Alright, so, coated well. Yeah, I'm gonna go with a... Let me think for a second. Yeah, use my right hand. I'm gonna, um... Just a touch of salt on here. I just like to season stuff. Like to season. Okay, cool. Maybe a touch of pepper. I mean, the skin's coming off, so it's probably doing nothing, but it doesn't hurt the season. We've got the oven at 450, or it's going to be preheating to 450. Probably won't be long. Probably done in a second. I'm going to pop those in there. Wow, oh, it's hot. All right. I'm going to come back and check this, and let me start cutting that up. I'm going to come back and, eh, 15 minutes, I think. Let's see what those look like. See you soon. All right, so it's been about 25 minutes. I turned them halfway, and these look, wow, hot. Yeah, soft, beautiful. All right, killing the oven for now. Gonna let this cool down for a second. These all shriveled up nicely. The trick is now to steam it so that it um, they uh, the skin separates easily. Gonna grab a. This is a black bag gonna do it. Uh, there we go. Hmm. Take this, seal it up. Hope this works. Cool. We'll just let that kind of steam. Garbage. Smells good though. A little spicy. Alright. Let that cool. Leave this alone. Be back when it's peeling time. Alright. It's been about eh, 20 minutes, I'll say, since he's been out. They're still pretty warm. They should have steamed enough in there to loosen the skin. Let's find out. Right. Bam. 
still gonna use this bag. All right, so we'll see if this peels easy. Oh, all right, there we go. So basically, we just wanna peel off the skin. That's a little nasty. All right, peeling easy. Cool, we're left with a roasted pepper. There we go. And we'll open up and clean up the seeds too when we're done. Let's just first peel off the skin. If you were doing sweet, roasted sweet peppers or whatever, it's the same, same procedure. There we go. Skin should just sort of separate easily. I mean, you could eat these obviously with the skin on and everything, but the skin is a little, like, you know, you don't you don't really want the skin. It doesn't. It's not really as appetizing. Texture-wise as well. All right, might as well just take these seeds out of here now. This is where all the heat is, actually. Well, not all the heat, but a good amount of it. Come on, you little bastard. You bastard. All right. Paper towel would have been a smart idea. Right here. I really just want the flesh of the pepper. No seed. No skin. Good. There we have it. Just left with a delightful roasted jalapeno. I guess I have no choice but to chase, taste this, see how hot this is. It's gonna be good in the pork chop. Let's just see. It's hot. That is, it's got kick. Not insane, but it's definitely hot. It should be good in the, in the pork chop. All right, I'm gonna continue with this. It was a little tedious to do all of them, but I will demonstrate anyway. So I don't feel like changing my glove. It'll come free, you know. There we go. Pop the top. Open up. Mm, these seeds are not looking great, but the pepper's cooked, so I guess it's fine. Down. Oh no, seed. Really struggling not to get seeds in here. Alright, well, that's the gist of this. I'm gonna come back. Oh crap. Come back when I am finished, when it's time to assemble the pork chops. See you in a bit. Come on. Come on. This is embarrassing. Alright. Gonna just get another glove. Fuck it. See you in a bit. Okay, so uh, our pork chops are here with our peppers. I haven't stuffed them yet, but I uh, cut up some onions and Brussels sprouts and garlic. I'm gonna put that, roast that in the oven. And this eggplant, which is sadly on its way out, it was fresh a while ago, but I didn't get a chance to use it, so I'm gonna use what's left of it now. I'm gonna slice it up for um, like grilled eggplant, I suppose. But anywho, I'm just gonna see what we're looking like inside. Hopefully it's usable. No guarantees here. This is looking pretty mighty done for. It's pretty soft. So we'll see. I could get out my peeler, but that's one more thing to clean. Oh, so I like to peel my eggplant. I think the skin is kind of bitter and not pleasant. This eggplant is pretty soft at the top. The bottom is more firm. You can see it's kind of dark here. So what I'll probably do is just, you know what, I'm just going to make that call right now. This is really soft on top. 
Yeah. I think the bottom we can manage to go with, but top's gotta go. Anyway, just gonna peel it. I'm gonna do this on the stove top on like a griddle. It's uh ultimately what I wanna try to do. Just gonna Here. All right. Yeah, it's really not looking good at all. All right, let's see what we can. manage out of this. It's really soft on top too. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, we'll call it there. Try to get uniform sized pieces here. You don't want them too thin. I'm going to cut there. Two. Three. Yeah, the middle's still pretty firm. It's just the outer edge is a little soft. It's not rotted, it's just... Not super fresh. Let's just kill that. All right, all right. A few pieces of eggplant. Hmm. Gonna cut away those shitty areas. Really sad, this got a little too old. All right, anywho, leave that there for the moment. This is here. It's time we built some, stuff some pork chops. All right, we use this cutting board. I think I'm done cutting with this knife. Don't leave your knife in the sink. Excellent. Okay, done with that. What we're gonna do is, oops. My oven's preheated to 400. Oh, and I guess I'll put the pork chops in with the Brussels sprouts. I'm gonna use this Mexican four blend cheese. And I guess the rest of this mozzarella that's here this is really a hodgepodge sort of a meal. Still smells good. Still smells good. We're in luck. We'll need this. Of course, we'll need this. Uh, let's swap yeah, there. This here. This we can leave handy. Dry off our pork chops when they come out. Let's get some gloves on. All right. So what we're gonna do is kind of fillet them a little, make a pocket, stuff with the peppers and the cheese, and see how that goes. Hope it's good. I don't see why it would be bad. Let's just start with the corner here and just, uh, you know what, that's even better. Beautiful. Alright. Popping out a chop. Beautiful. One and... Two. Let's keep all that juice in the garbage. Good. Uh, where are we? Dry these off nicely. Alright. Let's get to opening these up. I think I'm gonna go 
I like the, the round part in the back. So I'm gonna take this, sort of take my knife in, try not to go all the way through, and just open a pocket up. Looks good. Come on. Looks beautiful. All right, we're just about at the back. That looks stupendous. You know what? I'm going to cook these like this. Perfect. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Okay. I'm going to make our pocket again. Okay. Open this up. Try very hard not to go to the other side. So I want to stand these up. Oh, yeah. Love these meat pockets. <laughs> Alright, enough of that. Enough of this childish humor. Alright. I think I'm going to start with a... Actually, I should really start with a little seasoning. Yeah. Crap. All right. Start with a little bit of... Just open that pocket up with salted. Great. All that. A little bit of... Let's just... Hold that there, good. Let's do as I touch. Just gotta get it over there. Good. You must get a single hand fucking pepper grinder. Alright, good. Right, let's get a little bit of mozzarella in there. Whole pieces probably would have been a little better, but that's alright. We'll make this work. All I have is shredded. Beautiful cheese in there, done. Let's open up our bag of peppers. I'm just gonna use all this, so I'm not gonna worry about the porkiness of my hands. I'm gonna stuff in some hot peppers. This is gonna be hot. This amount, anyway. These are roasted. I don't know if that intensified the peppers or not. All right, got our peppers stuffed in there. Beautiful. I'm going to definitely finish all this mozzarella and then I'll top it with the four cheese Mexican. Beautiful. I was gonna seal these closed, but this is gonna be better this way. Let's get a little four cheese Mexican blend in there. Right there. All right. You can never have enough cheese on your pork chop. Don't forget that fact of life. All right, I didn't season the pork chop yet, which is kind of dumb. I should have done that to begin with, but I'm just kind of winging this. All right, so what I'm going to do is toss a little grease on here. Beautiful. Just gonna grease up my hand a little bit and just sort of get 
get a little oil in there. Nice. Okay, and I'll do a little. Must get salt on the sides. More important than the pepper, the salt. If you don't salt this, it's gonna be bland. Good. Attempt to get some pepper on there. I'll repack the cheese after. So it's done ass backwards, folks. Sorry. Oops. Fix that a little bit. Get right on there. Good. A little pepper. We're good, I think. Bam, and oh, no, you stay in there. And bam, those look amazing. Got to make sure I cook these to like 150 in the middle here. Make sure this uh, I cook the uh, the thing inside is contaminated, but it shouldn't be. Normally, I cook a pork up to 140, 145. I'm gonna cook these to 150 just to be on the safe side. I think it should be okay. All right, those gotta go in the oven. And that's gotta go in the oven. Oh, I gotta toast that with stuff too. All right, um, let's put this in the sink. Brush my knife. Cool. I'm gonna toss this with some olive oil. And glove me again. Use so many gloves. Ridiculous. Damn it, I won't be able to pepper this. Oh well. Right. Olive oil. I think I have already ground black pepper for this exact scenario. I forgot to open it before. Yes, I do. Alright. Let's toss this with the oil. It needs grease. crazy and uh, turn these all face down so I know when I flip them, they'll all have to go face up. Stands to reason, I think. Alright, cool. Cool, onions are just sort of doing their thing. Awesome. There's garlic in here, all in the middle. We'll toss it all together at the end anyway, so it doesn't matter if it's all not evenly placed. Okay, good, good, good. Let's get the salt going. Salt. Let's go pepper this. Plenty of black pepper. Great. Touch more oil. Okay. And lastly, I'm gonna do a little balsamic vinegar on here. It's good with balsamic vinegar. Just gonna. Finger that. That's it. Give it a nice little acidic, sweet sort of taste to this. Not too much, just a few dollops. Well, a few more than a few, but uh, boom. All right. And that'll do it. This is where I want it to be. We're just gonna 
I guess I could mix that around a little. That as well. All right. Get the vinegar all over that. I gotta give the woman props on the vinegar thing for these. She made a recipe with this and it was really good. All right. This is ready. These are both ready for the oven, but I'm not ready to put them in the oven. But these are both ready to go. I'll be back in a second. We clean up a little and we'll be back when these go in and to prep that. Oh, to cook that on the stove. See you in a bit. All right. Let's gonna pop these in the oven. Put these on the bottom. I'll put the pork chops on top. 400. Start this counting up. In the meantime, we will. I'm gonna grill, I think. Eggplant, a couple of batches. Yeah, it's the best way, I guess. Let's get this on. No, it's not on. Rocket hot. What we're gonna do is uh, basically a little olive oil, salt, pepper. The usual. The usual. So let's just pack this tight. We'll do two batches. I can get four on there and then three. I know we always, always use gloves, but I'm not going to do it right now. Flip, 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 and a little more oil. Good. Might make a little bit of smoke when it cooks, but that's all right. Let's get the uh, freaking off my hand. All right. Now let's salt, salt away. It's so nice to be able to use this with two hands. Nice. This is really good on the barbecue. As I said, open flame would be ideal, but we'll simulate that here. Is that a hair? Gross. All right. Let's put the handle in so I can scrape. This is looking, feeling hot, smelling hot. All right. What we might want to do is, do I want to? Yeah, touch a spray. Actually, I don't really want spray. I want, you know, I guess I could use spray. This. All right, nice. We're hot. We're golden. Let's get this going. One, two, these are small ones here. Three and four. And I'll just start that counting up. I don't know how long it's gonna take. I'm just kind of winging this one. And we'll just wait. I guess I'll give us a, maybe, Two or three minutes on one side. Wait till it's just looking like it's cooked. Right. Be back when time to play. It's been about this has been about five minutes. So let's flip. We got some grill marks. It's cool. Are 
are not really ready yet at all. Let's go to the five minutes on this side. It's been a total of about 10 in the oven. Mmm. Looking good. Alright. When this flips, when another five minutes comes again, we'll check them and then toss that stuff around and check temperature on the pork chop. Be back soon. Alright, that's another five. Now we're definitely cooking along. Just gonna put these back over again. I'm recording. I'm recording! Put these back over again. And probably finish them on this side. They're almost done. Alright. While that's doing that. Let's check in on our sprouts. Oh, that looks like it fell over. God damn it. Alright, we'll get that in a second. Let's take this and just sort of... I was going to make sure these were all flipped properly, but how with that? These are almost done. Mmm. Looking good. Smelling good. Things are caramelizing nicely. Ah, onion down. Get that later. All right. Separate this stuff out. Just try and flip these up a little bit. Not to burn one side. Come on. There we go. Oh, this OCD is getting to me. Good. Good. And great. Alright. Stop me before I see one more that I missed. Alright, this is good. We'll go back in. No, no pants on the woman. Should I get all the views now? Alright. Let's check this out. That failed almost. Alright. Kind of wish this didn't fall over, but... Uh, we'll just pop all that back in. Hmm. Don't want to lose any of that. Well, we're not going to lose it. I just want to... belongs on top. What we'll do is we'll... On top. Right. There you go. There you go, little fella. All right. Mmm. Spicy. All right. Take a look at what we're doing on this pork chop here. All right, we're not quite there yet. Meat's 125. Oh, no, don't fall over there, buddy. Give my good one. 134, okay. I'm thinking maybe another five minutes. Or so. All right, wait, wait a second, hon. Huh? All right. Mmm. Good flavor. Popping this back in. Five more minutes on that. This looks mm, pretty much cooked. I'm gonna call that cooked. There. Good, good. Let's put the rest of these on. Uh, no more spray, not necessary. One. Oh, no. Two and three. All right, leave that alone. All right, be back when something else interesting happens. So, look it up. My pork chops fell over. They fucking fell over. Super pissed. Then get out. I then get it. Go and you get out. All right, cool. Oh, this fell over, but I think it's gonna be beautiful either way. All right. This should be just about cooked at this point. Oh, just about. I'm gonna 
I want to call this done actually. It's tough from touching this. The middle of this should be. Yeah, anything that would have been is dead. So there we go. Alright, maybe just for good measure I will put this back in for another two minutes, but this is just about done now. Definitely gotta sell up all this cheese when we when I serve. Why did this fall over? Come on, man. Maybe we'll just put them face to face so they don't lose out that way. Alright, cool. Two more minutes. This is. These are cooked. Two more minutes on that. These are done for sure. Yeah. Perfect. Beautiful, look at that. Alright, drilled with that. This I am still cooking these last three. Still going. In the meantime, on somebody's plate. We can serve these out. I'm recording. Then I guess the answer is no. I mean, the internet would love it. Pretty sure you'd love it. Pretty sure the internet's in, into all kinds of freaky things. All right. This is a huge helping of Brussels sprouts. I'm like, let me get, oh, two dozen. That's enough for two people. That is a lot of Brussels sprouts, is what it is. Chapo. Alright, this is mostly, I don't know what this is, sort of, cheese, spicy, it's a little bit of cheese and chopped juice, I'm coining that, it's chopped juice. Don't want to waste it. Mm. It's really cheesy and juicy. Okay, good. And good. These are still not quite done. But it doesn't matter. There's your dish. Alright, I'll slice some avocado on there. Let's put these again. There we go. All right. Mm, Spicy. Watch your handle here at top. I didn't tell anybody. All right. Let's check the it's avocado. I want avocado on here. This is hot. This is hot. Watch out. When I'm done, you can have. Let me have. Could you just get the? Yeah. Could you move? Could could you could you move? I'm hungry. All right. What I need to do is cut this up. Where are we? Beautiful. Uh, yeah, let's just... 
good. Do you want a beer? I have it in the freezer ready for myself. Why are they not cold? Well, they're cold. I want mine really cold. Drink your beer really cold, folks. And that is how we do an avocado. Oh, be careful if you ever do it this way because you can totally cut your finger open or hand or whatever you want to call it. One, two, ah, you mother, three, that's all right. One, two, three, boom. I don't care, I'm hungry right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, towel, please. Thanks. All right, I'm calling this dumb. There you have it. Let's serve it up. pork chops with jalapeno and cheese stuffed pork chop, grilled eggplant, Brussels sprouts with onions, some avocado, oh, always. Which one's the smaller one? They're both small. Always salt your, what, come back? All right, there we go. Check out Z Cooks Consortium. Check out the Patreon, YouTube, whatever you like to check out. And support us if you like what you see. More good stuff coming soon. Link to subscriptions and all that everywhere. Check it all out. See you next time. Bye-bye.